it's an old school animation technique that seems to be forever young. It's just regular clay? Yeah, it is modeling clay and the stuff that kids play with, it liberates the imagination. And uh, weirdly, this material is, is in a sense the, the, the foundation for our whole career. In the hands of Peter Lord and his company, Ardman Animations, that simple material is the basis for this latest creation. We've got our happy ending. We're living in it. A chicken paradise brought to life in a feature film by the masters of this universe, animators, using a most interesting mix of implements. You have all these different little eyes Small, pale, small, dark. This is a box of expressions? Yep. For example, this one is anything that starts with a th. So anything that would require your tongue to be between your teeth. Um, you see the tongue. That's it, here. yeah. Th. What is that? You've never seen a human before. We had them back at the farm. They're kind of stupid. Carmen Bromfield Mason is one of the animators of Chicken Run, Dawn of the Nugget, out this week on Netflix. It's the sequel to 2000's Chicken Run, which grossed over $220 million. This one is a sort of heist film. Picture it on every street, in every town, people on the go. Build as Chicken Impossible. They want their food and they want it fast and we will give it to them by the bucketful. You know, there is a two shot, I think, Steve. Yeah. We visited Ardman Studios in Bristol, England during production last year. Bromfield Mason had been working to animate the main character, Molly. Molly. What are you trying to get across with the, your puppet? So I'm trying to get across the kind of innocence and excitement, but also a little bit of self-awareness. Give as good as you get, eh? First, she acts out the scene. I'm Frizzle. And then you've got to figure out what you do with your body and what you do with your face and lips and try to make it in this little puppet. Yes. I'm Frizzle. And you are? Molly. Molly. Oh, although, although it's kind, it's kind of, of a goofy, goofy name. name. So I'm, I'm actually, actually thinking, thinking of changing it. Just two seconds of that scene took a whole day. Two seconds is quite, is quite a good day's success. For an expression, for an arm crossing. Yes. Yes, yeah, that is true. <laughs> That's crazy, isn't it? Yeah. It's called stop motion animation. Do you want to come on the adventure of a lifetime or not? Uh. It comes to life when. Lord demonstrated how it works using his first real star, Morph, a fixture on children's TV in 1970s and 80s Britain. With this rather unfinished character here, if he was going to wave his his incomplete arm. I take a still picture. Like this? Like this, like this, yeah. And then I move him a little bit. I get out of the way and take another still picture. And then I come back and I move him again. I get out of the way and take another one. But of course, you're not just moving him. You're trying to make him perform. That's the trick. Isn't computer animation good enough at this point that you can do it faster that way? Do you have to do this? It seems very analog. <laughs> It is very analog, and, and you've, it's a perfectly good question you've raised there. I think that with stop motion, I believe there's a magic to it. Lord co-founded Ardman Animations with David Sproxton in 1972, <laughs> bringing to life beloved characters like Sean the Sheep and Wallace and Gromit, the stars of Ardman's 1993 Oscar-winning short film. This film, The Wrong Trousers, was a big, Big success. This and is what put you on the map. Put you on the map, absolutely. And very particularly, it proved to us and to the world, perhaps, that you could put this stuff on the big screen. We would never have made chicken run if we hadn't made this first. This is some regular chickens. Sam Fell is directing the sequel to Chicken Run. This is the entrance to this terrible uh, place that Molly's been taken into. One thing we've got to really make sure is they feel like they've got lots of weight when they land. And then to shoot it, I guess it's going to take a week. And this whole scene will be how long in the movie? I think it might be like four seconds. 
There are, by the way, more than 6,000 seconds in this film, which is a mix of satire and substance as the chickens face the looming threat of factory farming. The animation can tackle really important and interesting subjects in really important and interesting and funny and entertaining ways. At the heart of it, of course, is bringing the characters to life. All the expression is kind of between here and here, like that, that inch of modeling clay there, that's where it all happens. You can just gently, gently tweak it. So now she's kind of surprised. How much have things changed from the days of Moore? Very, very much indeed, yeah. Because like, so this is Ginger now, but inside she's like this. So she's a Terminator. You know, the animation process is exactly the same and the philosophy is the same, but the materials are sensationally different. While the materials may change, the spirit of invention and imagination remains in that quest to make magic.